Hi everyone, welcome back to How To Tuesday. This week I'm going to show you how to do a single crochet, which is your next step after learning how to do a basic chain stitch. To begin, we'll use the same tools that we used last week, a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. So just to remind you, you begin with your slip knot, and then you start with your chain stitch. And again, the chain stitch is the beginning to anything that you want to crochet. So we're going to put our loop over our hook, and then for the single chain stitch, you just bring the yarn through each loop, just like this. So I'm going to chain four times, it looks like that, and you can count each individual chain, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do what's called a single crochet. Now remember, I hold my yarn a certain way, but you can hold yours however is most comfortable to you. To begin, you're going to take your hook and you're going to go into that second stitch. So you put your hook through, and so now I've got two loops on my hook. I'm going to bring this yarn over the first loop, and then I'm going to pull it through, and then I'm going to bring my yarn over the hook again, and this time I'm going to pull it through both loops, and that is officially a single crochet. And I'm going to do it again in the next stitch. So I'm going to take my hook, and I'm going to go through the stitch, wrap my yarn around my hook, and pull through the first loop. Wrap my yarn again, and then pull through two. And that's two single crochet. And we do that to the end. Now, if you remember, when we began, we had four chain stitches. But when you crochet, you subtract one of those stitches. And now we only have three, because we needed enough room to work our way down. Now that we're at the end, we're going to do something that might seem a little weird, but you're going to chain one stitch. And you do that because that gives you enough room to flip it over. After you flip it over, you do the same thing. See, there are my V-stitches. Then we're going to take our hook into the stitch, pull through once, wrap it around, pull through twice. And then you do that to each stitch, counting as you go. Here's two, and then here's my third and final stitch. You repeat this until you have a piece that's the size that you want it to be, whether it's for a scarf or maybe even a coaster or a pot holder for you to use in your house. Well, that's it for this week, my friends. Be sure to join us next week for How To Tuesday.